What should Liam Martin and Dwayne Dufo collaborate on? Let's find out. This is so cool. So this is what we're talking about when we're talking about how to use ChatGPT at work. You can use some of these custom GPTs to be able to actually build really cool integrations that can help you throughout your job. And this is an example of one that I built, which I think could be really powerful inside of your organization. And I hope that you enjoy it. So what I've built here is a disk profile senior leadership analyzer. You see a couple weeks ago, we went to our company retreat, which we did in Bali, Indonesia. And there we all took a disk profile, which is a psychometric test to be able to identify how people work, how they shouldn't work together. Actually, the report is right here, which I can show you. This is very happy people, obviously talking about the different types of personality types. There's the D style, which I like to call the dick style, but I'm completely honest with you. The I style, the S style, and the C style. So it tells you where all of your team members are currently located on that particular data set from a psychometric perspective. And then it also tells you where they're projecting themselves specifically for the purposes of their job. So for me, as an example, I'm in the eye and then I target more towards eye. We have uh, Jeff Ainsworth, who is the chief product officer of the company. And then he kind of points in the same direction as me. Same thing with Brian Sharp, who is the COO and president of the company. We kind of point in the same direction. But we've got someone like Dwayne Dufo, who is was a shallow D. And then he goes very much into extreme D. So this is a really powerful tool to be able to analyze where people should be interacting, how they should collaborate together how you should talk to them. If you really want to excite someone or get someone to do something, how can you convince them to do it? It's very, very cool stuff. And it's a great PDF, but you have to memorize this thing in order to actually understand what the heck is going on. And then I'm constantly having to actually re-reference it to be able to figure out, okay, how do I actually work with Justin Clark as an example, who's this little dot over here, and I'm this I way over here. How do I do it? How do I actually make that work? ChatGPT comes to the rescue. So inside of this particular GPT, and I can specifically show you how it works. So if you go into the actual edit GPT interface, you can see here that what I've done is I've simply uploaded that PDF directly inside of ChatGPT. And then I gave it a name, which is the Disk Profile Senior Leadership Analyzer. I gave the roles of everyone inside of the company. I specifically described what it does. And then it came up with its own questions. And then specifically, I can ask it a question like, can you provide insights on Jeff Ainsworth? Ainsworth's leadership style. It can analyze that data and then boom, there you go, you've got it. So you can see that he's very extroverted and sociable, independent and decisive, calm and listening, friendly, inspiring, stubborn and goodwill. And then I could also ask a question like, how should Liam interact with him? And then you can get the result here, which is incredibly powerful. So when you look at those interrelated ideas, to me, you're just scratching the surface here on specifically what things that you can do to be able to make sure that people are just working more effectively inside of their teams. If you want access to this particular GPT, please let me know down in the comments below and I will give it to you so that you can have access to it. And this is a relatively short video. I just wanted to kind of give people a perspective of what do they think with regards to this type of technology? Do you use it inside of your organization today? And have you thought about using things like this inside of your company, particularly for remote teams? It's so powerful to be able to get this psychometric data, number one inside of a remote organization, but then to be able to essentially have an expert, like a psychologist that's just available to you as an AI to be able to ask questions constantly. I think that this is just such a complete game changer. And if you're interested in these videos, I'd love to be able to make a lot more of them. Just let me know down in the comments below. Below. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching. And if you liked this video, why don't you subscribe to this YouTube channel? It is indeed free. And why don't you like this and share this with as many friends as you possibly can, because it really helps out the channel. See you in the next one. If you've gotten to this point in the video, I think you should probably subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's free, unlike most other things in life, and it would bring me happiness and joy. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.